All right, everyone, this is a video about era locks and uh, explaining about all the different types that there are. Now, on a few videos in the past, I've probably named some of the eras falsely. Um, I've probably given disinformation to people about certain locks in the, in the past. Um, people get quite a few of them mixed up. Um, but it doesn't really matter because they're pretty much all the same anyway. Um, noticeably, um, Wadisi 2 did a. He's been doing some nice um, era picking uh, lately, and he sent a, a lock over to Bosnian Bill, and um, it was a pro fit, but um, he was calling it an invincible. But I had told him in the past that it wasn't invincible, so it was my fault. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little bit of a video here. Uh, most of the information in this will be uh, very accurate um, so let's get started so these are all era locks there are more than this but this is the most commonest culprits I tell a lie they're not all era but they might as well be right first off this is the era Viscount it's the uh, the grey silver one and it's got a pair of bumps either side of the keyway it's seven gauge which is a thin gauge and you can use gauge keys to identify this um, if you really want to or need to so this is an era viscount and I'll just take this off to show you the insides so it's got five levers and um, I'll go into some more detail about what types of levers there are later on in the video this is a brown old era Viscount. See, I've put endurance there. It's not. This is a Viscount. It's the old version of this. If you look at the levers, they're a little bit different. I'll just bring this one a bit closer. So they're um, they're brass rather than steel, and they, they are slightly different shape. But but you can see the resemblance. The bolt is also different. It's uh, smaller and a slightly different design. You can see the sash part is different also so there's quite a bit of variation there but it's it's seven gauge the fin gauge again and as you can see there isn't a hard plate on it just like the Viscount now the endurance locks which I don't have here at the moment are um, older still of um, era locks and they're um, they're all seven gauge and they're they come in brown colors and they also don't have the bumps, they'll look like that really, but they'll be like different shades of brown. And they'll have levers that resemble these, although there, there is some slight variation still, which is why I thought this was an endurance, but it's not, it's, it's an old Viscount. Um, this is the um, the British Standard um, Era Profit. This is a three inch case, this is a two and a half inch case. You can see the, uh, the two bumps again, seven gauge. Now the Profit is basically the same as the Viscount. If you look at the um, the bolt, it's identical. This is obviously a little, uh, an extra half an inch longer, but the shape of it is identical. Look at the, uh, this is the curtain spring, it's the same. Everything's the same, it's just a different colour really. Um, even, you know, the sash part is the same, right? So, they're the same, and this one, is an old profit okay so you get them red so it's got the the bumps again seven gauge now look at the um the bolt on that it's the same again the only difference is it's red and that the levers are now in the old one they're brass compared to the more modern steel levers okay so so far these three are identical apart from brass levers and the colors this one's got a hard plate as well, of course, so that, that would have been British standard in its day. still is, but it's not up to the, the modern uh, specs, I don't think. Right, now, now we've got an era Invincible. Now, I'll just put the top back on this. These are the two that people get mixed up, including myself in the past. Um, the most obvious difference at a glance is the gauge. An invincible is five gauge. Can you see how that's a thicker curtain to the seven gauge? So that's the main difference. Obviously, this is a rusted over version, um, but it's got the two uh, bumps either side. I'll just show you one that's not quite so old, uh, rusted. So if you look at that compared to that, that's thicker compared to the seven gauge. 
Now also the um, the other difference between these two locks, this one's obviously got a hard plate. All the hard plates are always above the keyway by the way, like, like a just a basic sort of rectangular shape. The bolt is different now. On the Invincible, the bolt is not quite as um, it's not quite as um, long, but it's actually f uh, thicker there than the, the Pro Fit. This one is, is longer than that. The sash part is also slightly different. If you look, when you put the uh, case on, you can see the uh, the screw holes for changing the. Um, the, the latch around, you've got two holes there, whereas on the Pro Fit you've just got one screw hole and a big hole. So that's the Invincible. Now this is the old Invincible, again red like the old Pro Fit. Bumps either side, this hard plate has fallen off. Um, and again, brass levers, um, but the bolt is the same. Okay, so they're basically the same locks again, except the old one is red, the new one is golden. Right, now this one is a uh, 5 gauge, red, um, hard plate above the uh, keyway. Um, this is the Wix version though. Now the Wix, if you come across a red one like this, it's Wix and it's got brass levers. Right, so it's just the same as the old Invincible, except that on the wicks, the um, they have spacers. Okay, the so spacers on the wicks, no bumps. Let's just compare to with the levers. Um, now that's a high lift and that's a low lift, but if you look at the back. On the era ones, they've been pressed so that you've got these bumps that stick out so that you don't need a spacer, whereas on the wicks, they haven't been pressed at all so that they need a spacer in them, just to separate the levers slightly. This is an old wicks, and it's also got brass levers. Um, this time, there's no spacers at all. They've just got a thicker lever. Um, And look at the bottom, it's sort of a thinner at the bottom there. I don't know what you call these, the belly of the lever, it's, it's sort of a bit different. So again, this is a different version. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Wix, I'm not 100% positive on that. Um, it's quite a bit different, it's got an oval shaped hard plate. It's what we, so when you're looking for the keyhole, you'll see an oval shaped hard plate. So you can go, that's era or Wix, I basically, Wix is, is like a, a version of an era lock. And lastly, we've got the era um, Fortress, which are quite a bit different. Now these have got completely different levers. Uh, these two are just uh, are the same. Um, completely different levers, slightly different drill point. On the bolt stump on these, they've got a little notch, whereas on the era locks there isn't anything like that they've just got anti-pick on the on the levers top and bottoms which obviously these have also got anti-picks but they're a bit smaller on the uh, um, fortress here but you've got the notch in the on the bolt stump which makes it a bit more likely to uh, cause trouble so that's basically um, a rundown on era locks These are all eight of the era Viscount, Invincible and Profit uh, locks, the modern ones. Um, there are four high lifts and four low. This is a number one. And it's called a high lift because it has the anti-pick is at the top, that's the anti-pick there. It needs to be lifted high in order to get the gate at the right point for the bolt stump. Here's a number two. Number one, by the way, needs to be lifted to the highest point. It's number two, number three, and a number four. So this is a high lift. I've removed the curtain and the spring just to show you this. So this is the bolt stump. 
this is the gate so that the lever has to be lifted high in order for the the gate to be aligned with the bolt stump okay if it excuse my hand right if it's only lifted low if you lift it low that will go into anti-pick that's what the danger is so that's why you have to lift it lift it high to there for it to go into gate and then the bolt can slide through so these are the low lifts on a low lift the anti-pick which is there is at the bottom so you have to lift it low in order to avoid the anti-pick and to get it into gate set it so it's a five six seven and an eight so this is the lowest lift as you can see it wouldn't need much to lift that into gate so it's very easy to overlift that so this is a low lift here I'm going to lift it high first and it will go into anti-pick let's reset that so if that was if you're picking that you just need a little lift and you're in that's the uh, the eight levers of the eras now I just want to compare this to the the brass versions in the old locks um, as you can see they're pretty much identical apart from being brass and steel this is a number one in the old era Viscount in the brown lock as you can see it's quite a bit different although it resembles uh, similar sort of character traits anti-pick at the top there it's pretty similar it says number one on the uh, on the button it's number one there there's only two high lifts in uh, the old ones a number one and a number two and a number three which is a number three is already a low lift I do believe there is only five different levers in the old ones uh, this is a number five so this is the hot, the lowest lift and as you can see compare that to the number eight of the modern ones it's uh, quite a bit different but when you compare that to a, a number five pretty similar okay well this has been a Eurolox explained by picking Paul yeah, I've got a shed <laughs> it's bloody brilliant I get to put all my locks on here I get to bang my head on there like I just did and uh, everything's cool I've got a pillar drill got my bench grinder out have all my tools uh, yeah brilliant got a garden and everything I moved house um, so yeah very good so um, you'll be seeing videos from the uh, the workshop in the future